All right, going to make a video showing that the Luciferian Pelagian false doctrine of denying that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful is refuted, thoroughly refuted by King David in the in the book of Psalms. And basically, what is the Luciferian? Why do I say it's Luciferianism? Well, because they deny the Pelagianism uh, doctrine denies that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful, and it denies that humans are born with a, with a corruption in the flesh, basically. And I say it's Luciferianism is because. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, Satan's lie told to Eve was, Ye shall be as gods. If you could be sinlessly perfect, as Pelagianism would state, uh, you're becoming like God. Plain and simple. It is a Luciferian false doctrine. The scriptures clearly teach that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful in numerous scriptures. you got Psalms 130, verse uh, 3 to 2 to 3. I'm sorry, 3 to 4. I do apologize. There's Proverbs 20, verse 9. I mean, there's Romans 8, Romans 7, Galatians chapter 5, verse uh, 16 to 21. I mean, scripture after scripture after scripture clearly teaches uh, the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. And King David himself thoroughly refutes this false doctrine. So let's get right into the scriptures. First of all, it's worth pointing out that David himself says that his mother conceived him in sin. Psalm 51, verse 5. Yeah, Psalm 51, verse 5. Behold, I was I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Now, the, the Pelagianism uh, Luciferians will try to tiptoe around this verse and they try to, you know, say, well, it's not, you know, they'll try to obviously twist and contort it because why? They can't deal with the fact, they can't deal with the idea of being a sinner. They can't deal with that thought. So they always try to tiptoe around that because David right there says, in sin did my mother conceive me. It, it refutes their whole false doctrine. But David further refutes it in other verses. David says the wicked are estranged from the womb. Psalm 58 verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are, as, as soon as they be born. Sorry, speaking lies. Not good at reading on a computer, but we see right there they're estranged from the womb. You know, compare it over to Isaiah chapter forty-eight, verse eight, where it says, you know, that was called a transgressor from the womb. You know, Ephesians two three talks about but we were uh, children of, or we were by nature the children of wrath. That simple. Uh, but the Pelagian Luciferianism doctrine would say, oh no, sorry, David, David was just preaching Gnosticism because they'll try to accuse that, they'll accuse you of preaching Gnosticism if you say the fact that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. David himself knew his body is corrupt and sinful, contrary to what the Luciferian Pelagians would say. Psalm 40, verse 12. Goes into detail on that. Psalms 40, verse 12. For innumerable evils have compassed me about, my iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I so that I am not able to look so that I am not able to look up, they are more than the hairs of my head, therefore my heart faileth me. Again, not good at reading on a computer, but we see there innumerable evil, evils have, have compassed me, his iniquities. See he knew he was corrupt and sinful. He knew that he had a corrupt body of flesh. And this is further confirmed in Psalms thirty eight verses three to eight. It goes into further detail on that. Psalm 38, verse 3 to 8. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head as in heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bound. I bow, to I bow down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by, by reason of the uh, disquietness of my heart. Again, not good at reading on a computer, but we see there. He's just going into detail of his corrupt flesh. You know, they're corrupt because of my foolishness. You know, my uh, there's no soundness in my flesh. You see, the, the body of flesh, you see, when you're, when you're born again, the soul and spirit is redeemed, but the flesh is still prone to corruption, as we see right there. His flesh was still corrupt. Psalms 73, verse 26. Another good relevant scripture, Psalm 73, verse 26, says, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And Psalms 109, verse 24, Psalms 109, verse 24, My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. You see, unlike the Pelagian Luciferians, David knew the corruption in his flesh. But again, they would say, oh, you're just, that's Gnosticism. No, 
Well, whenever they try to accuse you of preaching the Gnostic, because Gnosticism is obviously uh, evil. Gnosticism is not scriptural. Gnosticism is every bit as uh, satanic as Luciferian Pelagianism. Whenever they try to accuse you of Gnosticism, just say back, well, you're preaching Luciferianism. So, you know, what makes you have the ability to criticize? Because uh, David knew the corruption in his flesh, but the Pelagian Luciferians would say otherwise. So don't be deceived by the Luciferian false doctrine of Pelagianism and denying that the body of flesh is corrupt and sinful. Uh, you have corruption in your flesh. And if you don't like that, you probably have some self-righteousness in you as well. You don't like the idea of being a sinner. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.